Welcome to Easy Email Marketing. I'm your host, Yael Keown, mum, FIFO wife, MBA, coffee lover, survivor superfan, and creator of the email experience. In Easy Email Marketing, you'll benefit from my nearly 20 years experience where I'll be teaching you all the tips, tricks, and insider info on how to create feel-good, non-spammy experiences for your subscribers. Let's get stuck in. Welcome back to Easy Email Marketing. I'm your host, Yao Keown, and in today's episode, I'm sharing the four different types of emails all businesses should be sending to their lists. Yes, all businesses. I will be struggling to think of any business which will be exempt from this. So this episode is a sneak peek and kind of a bit of an overview of a new free on-demand, so watch any time masterclass I have created called the four must-have emails for sales success and exactly how to write them in 10 minutes flat. And you can register for that anytime at yalekeown.com forward slash masterclass. So think of this episode as the broad strokes, the overview, maybe even the checklist of the emails you should be looking at creating as soon as possible. And then the masterclass dives deeper into the strategy of each, including ideas and examples and how you can actually set up the automation um, for these scenarios. Okay, so are you ready to get stuck in to the four emails? The first one, of course, should be no surprise to anyone, and it is the welcome email. Seriously, if you don't have this email set up, then you're missing a huge opportunity because this is the email that is sent right away after someone signs up. So this means they are most interested to hear from you now. And this is shown by the high open rates of about 60 to 70% compared to about the 21% that, you know, general emails get. Your new subscribers are actively looking for a solution or that download that they requested, or that discount code. So make sure you do more than just send that thing, or do nothing at all, and hook them in with your amazing story, what you can offer, and why they want to be opening your future emails. This sets the stage for everything else that comes, so make sure to send it. The second email is the nurture email. So this is where you are showing up for your subscribers on a regular basis, becoming that friend in their inbox, and you are sharing content that they want to read. So this can take the form of a traditional newsletter style, maybe weekly love letters or sending out your blog content, um, random thoughts. Or you can even automate this in the form of a content funnel, um, which you can see more about in episode 18 if you want to know what on earth I'm talking about with that strategy. So what you want to do here is include plenty of opportunities for engagement. So getting those opens, which means sending content they want and having intriguing subject lines, getting those clicks, which means always having something for them to click through to that isn't necessarily, you know, just buy now, like read this blog, listen to this podcast, and also replies, constantly be asking specific questions to build that engagement. So over this time, you're building that connection. You're building that know, like, and trust factor. And the key here, the biggest key is to send content they want to read. So it does not have to be epic long emails with 20 different articles and different things for them to do, but instead nice and simple to read emails that give them some sort of takeaway. And you can do this in a few sentences or you can do this in 500 words. That is entirely up to you and what your audience likes and you will learn that over time. Email number three then is the sales retargeting email. So yes, I could have probably included the sales email as one of these in here, but you know you need to send them, right? You know, you should, and hopefully you are sending regular sales emails or you're doing a promotion or a launch now and then. But sales retargeting goes further than that. It's about stopping any leaks that are going on um, in your funnel and connecting with your warmest leads. So these leads are those who have shown an active interest in your offer specifically. So whether that's your product or your service, and they might be sitting on the fence. They're kind of trying to make a decision. They're in that consideration phase. And this might take um, some of that personal touch. So maybe that means just having a way in which you can identify who these subscribers are and you reach out to them on Instagram or through a personal email, or it could be through automation. So emails in this category could include things like abandoned cart emails um, or replenishment reminders uh, for e-commerce businesses 
or for um, sales or service page browser abandonment. So someone looks at your sales page or looks at your service page and they don't book in with you. So you can do those sorts of follow-ups for service businesses or digital product businesses. And finally, email number four is probably the most forgotten, but one of the most important, and that is the post-purchase email. Email is not just for, you know, getting that first sale. It is a fantastic tool for building longevity, for building advocacy, and for just really providing amazing customer service and retention for your audience. So for e-commerce businesses, you can simply have like a beautiful thank you sequence after their first purchase and even after repeat purchases too. And you can have like just some really great customer service here too, like tips for using your products or taking care of your products. And then in future, you can do things like ask for reviews or try to win them back if they haven't purchased for a while. For service-based businesses, you can provide onboarding and offboarding sequences, things like booking reminders, and of course, asking for those all important testimonials. And for digital products, onboarding is probably one of the most crucial things you can do as it sets the stage for where they can access their content, how to get support, and so on. And you can also upsell to other offers down the track. So there you have it. That is the four emails you should be sending. A little bit of an express overview. So recap, the welcome email, the nurture email, the sales retargeting email, and the post purchase email email. So if you want to know more about each of those, how to apply it, some different examples and really go deep into how you can use it for your business, then I would love to invite you to join that free masterclass, the four must have emails for sales success and exactly how to write them in 10 minutes flat. You can watch that the moment you um, register. So make sure to do that. You will learn the one email that will have you hitting 60 to 70% open rates, turning cold leads into loyal fans instantly. I think you know what that one is now. You will learn how to stop the sales leaks that are sabotaging your business success and make more money in less time without leaving your inbox. And you will also, which I didn't even cover in this episode, you will learn the exact email marketing map to automate emails so you serve and sell in your sleep, literally. So you can watch that straight away at yaelkeon.com forward slash masterclass, all one word. I'll pop that link in the bio, of course. So I would absolutely love for you to join me on that. And thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I would love to hear from you about which email you are probably going to take away and um, what one you're going to implement in your business next, or just let me know what you want to hear about next on this podcast. Let me know over on Instagram. I am at Yale Keown, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for listening to Easy Email Marketing. It's an absolute honor that you chose to listen. If you love this episode, then it would mean the world to me if you could leave a review so that others can find this podcast and make their email marketing easy too. Finally, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss a thing. Until next time, have an awesome day and make sure to keep showing up and serving in those inboxes.